Hello and welcome as it is the end of the 28th day of February 2018. I am using a different microphone for this video. It works much better from my perspective, although it is cheaper in cost. It's actually a webcam, which I might be using every now and again. I've also thought about just doing a, just showing a bit of silver, uh, like a, I know a lot of people like to uh, put those videos up here and there. I haven't been a big, big fan of it, but it does help for some people just to show uh, different ways of uh, just how I like to, well, how I like to do my uh, portfolio in physical silver. And maybe do a video log every so often, but don't expect it too much because, quite frankly, doing videos of this nature showing charts is what I really enjoy doing. So then, uh, yes, I, I did altcoins earlier, and then after I did my video, I looked at my notepad, and I made notes so I wouldn't forget. So I'm glad I did. Okay, and Unbreakable. Interesting situations in both of them. So let's go over such. This is a daily chart for, okay, cash. Notice since the last huge, huge rise and fall. Big, big moves. So you have a situation where you, uh, just before this move, you break out from 2,000 Satoshi and you rise up to 20,000 10x gain. That's a lot of good investment opportunities. And then it falls from 20,000 and it's pretty much closed out coming back close to where it came from, or at least where the breakout started from the 18 average back in September. Okay, well, we see that this Fibonacci line, and they, yeah, these lines are Fib lines, 100%. But they've been outstanding resistance and support, big time. And you've seen the last time it came down here at the earlier to mid parts of December, it found three, four, five times the amount of support within a short-term range up to 3163 and had a decent sized move up to where? Well, Fibonacci 57 and a quarter. Back down to this level, which is showing resistance airy signs now at this point. Ooh. Well, it still technically appears below, and oftentimes if there's gonna be a big move beforehand, well then you're gonna get a lot of these failed breakdowns and well, if it is a failed breakdown, maybe it might go down even a bit further. Well, we'll see. But if it does have a significant move, next key Fibonacci level is 757. We're all we're right now at the price of 22. So you'd have to lose two thirds or so of its value from here on in to get to that point. As a trader. I re-entered back into OK Cash as it was entering this key Fibonacci line. I will not sell at this point. I like to accumulate on the way lower. I will have a decent buy-in when the price reaches this lower point. However, I will be buying small amounts on maybe two, in the two lines in between, so maybe around 1,700-ish. And then maybe again at around 1,200-ish, I'll buy small. And then a much larger size buy if, and only if, it goes there. For I understand how this game is played. It's got two teams. you got the Bulls and the Bears. Sometimes both of them take a break and it goes sideways, like it did in here. But you have your Bears having a turn. And they did from November 14th through around the 13th or such of December, somewhere around that area. Then the bulls have a turn up until here, and then they took a break, did nothing. When the bears have had their, they're doing their turn right now. They've been doing it for a while. How much longer is it gonna go? I don't know. I, I They'll pass the dice when they're ready. I look at it that way because the bulls will take over at some point. Price action will get above this 18 average of highs and extend to a few higher highs than thereafter. I'm confident that's going to happen. Okay, so that is OK Cash. Again, we're looking at Fibonacci from levels from a long time ago. These early old school levels is what I'm looking at. 
This is a 23.6% down move. This chart will look a lot different if you look on the Bittrex logarithmic chart or if you look at the logarithmic chart on most other sites like on CoinMarketCap. It will not look like it has given back this amount of gains. For it to hold its bull market, it, does, it needs to hold and give back 61.8% at that stage. Well, it needs to, yeah, it needs to, if it, to lose its market, that is. So if it, if it is unable to hold 757, that means this entire move would basically be failing. It is still a valid rally from the major lows of 2016, as long as it's to hold and stay above 737. And that number would look a lot higher on most other logarithmic charts. Let's move on to unbreakable, which is the next chart. And we're using very similar Fibonacci here. Now notice the difference of these lines. We'll get to the action of how things are doing in different spots in a while. But this just shows how poor of a logarithmic chart that is. You can see this is highlighted in blue. If I take it off, it Looks a bit different, but if I put the log chart on, it's a half-ass log chart. Here's the math. 1351, this lower line, 2500 or so, the other one. If you subtract the two numbers together, you're going to get a difference of about 1140-something, which is almost double that of the 1351. And I just need to do it so you can see these numbers a bit better like that. Sorry about the, not seeing the end of this too well. But the difference from 1351 to 2498 is a good 80-ish percent gain. Well, how about 12,481 subtract 6749? It's, it's the exact same thing. But notice the difference from here to here is like a small rectangular move. This is just a case of it being a poor logarithmic chart. Okay. Price action, just like OK Cash, I'm using the long term big lows and the big highs. And within such, the 23.6% down move was supported originally. And then it shot above and below it for a while. We can see it resisted it around February the 2nd. And then when it broke major support, just like OK Cash, staying and holding below the 18 average of lows, having like no trading within such. So I just bought this, not today, I bought this just like OK Cash a little bit before. So if I would have just seen this for the first time and I'm like, OK, I won't, please give me something that would meet my criteria, this would be one of them. And I would say, hmm, you know what, it's a little cheaper than I would have normally got in because obviously I bought it few days ago on this, but the exact same conditions that I talk about with OK Cash are true here for future buys. I'll buy like a little around, a little bit here, like say around 5,000-ish, I'll buy a small amount. And then maybe at around 3,600 or so, 3,500, I'll buy another small amount. And then at 2,500, I'll buy even a larger amount. And I'll be looking to sell next up here, maybe somewhere around 90 something thousand. And if I sell that, I'll look to buy it back, probably around 60. And then if I sell at 90, well, I'm only going to be selling about 23% to tw about 23 or so percent of what I buy. So that if it goes even higher, I can sell more. I want to ensure that if this thing does anything like all these cryptos like to do when it's the bull's turn to roll the dice, that they just go like elevator, sky high, rocket ship at times. So that, oh, I can, you get moves, movements up here. You're saying the same thing back here. Oh my goodness, this keeps going down. And you're like, okay, you sell a bit here at say 67. You see it at like oh, 89, 94. Oh, I want to sell more. Oh, it's at like 14, I want to sell more. I want to ensure that I transition my sell orders so that I can take advantage of a move like this again. I want to have like six consecutive sell orders in a row from an entry buy position, which is why by starting off with about 23%, 
and selling lower amounts each time, I can do such. So if I buy, say, a thousand, I'll sell first at about 230, then I'll go 215, then I'll go 200, then I'll sell for about 180. And by doing so, you'll work out you could probably do six in a row. That's my strategy. Obviously, find out what works for you and go with it. Make my ideas your own is basically one way of putting it as well. All right, then. Thank you for tuning in to today's video, one of today's videos. It's almost like a marathon within some of these, but uh, yes, take care. Bye-bye.